<laughs> Welcome back to Just Ignore Them, a creepy indie horror RPG-ish uh, indie horror game it involves uh, making sure you get through the story without people dying, multiple endings, all that fun shit. Let's get back into it. Uh, also, of course, we have to fill, find maybe Bill's happy place. Because it's kind of weird, but hey, let's touch his computer too and see if he has child porn on it. And it's password protected. It says if I forget password, find it on my birthday. It looks like someone has tried to enter the password. I better not tamper with it. So someone already tried to tamper and find out his password? We have to figure out who this Paris Eve is. Hmm. Anything that would maybe... I'm wondering if maybe it would be... If the key slots here have some kind of message. I'm going to write it down just in case... It could be just complete crackpot theory, but I'm going to write down the number I would suppose I'd get out of this if I looked at the key slots. And which would be 244, maybe. I'm just going to write it down for the fuck of it. I, I mean, it may not make sense, but it's kind of random detail sometimes I see in these games. It's like, where you look at something, it's very convoluted, but it's for something later. Probably will mean nothing. Probably. I shouldn't disturb the other guests. I can't do anything with it. No peeking. Um. So what am I doing then? Oh! Bill's key! Where does Bill's key go? Bill's key. Is there like... Where would Bill's key go? Wait, I need to see someone about a room first? Okay, this this font shouldn't be here uh, as one, um... As, as for feedback about the game, it, this is like before I even got a room, it's still saying the same message. Um... Well, seriously, what the fuck do I do now? That's another thing, actually, to bring up before I, I, I keep continue looking is, I used the robot with the batteries, I never did find a purpose for it, so clearly with me not finding a purpose, like I got the batteries and other things, but the robot served no purpose, and since I no longer have the robot, I have to, I'm questioning then, what is it I need to do? There had to be a way then to make it so that possibly the mother survives. So the robot had no purpose. It's a little curious. So, next time I replay the game, I'm definitely gonna have to find out what I can use the robot for and to speedily get to the mother uh, as fast as possible. Outside of that, I'm gonna figure out where the fuck I have to go now. <laughs> oh, what is this? I Apparently there's a fucking side to this building. I can move over here, fuck. Wow. Okay, courtyard. Can I move up here? No, there's no rooms to the left. But the uh, the pavement showing that it doesn't get cut off, like over here it stops, but over here it does not. So that's what I've been missing the whole fucking time. Old dusty room that hasn't been occupied in a long time. All right, something something grilling. It could be death, so let's save. It looks either shiny or gasoline's pumping out and will explode. I'll take some dry piece from the bottom. After all, I didn't bring any toothpaste. Huh. So I got some coal? Strange. But okie dokie. Ah, workshop door. Save. Bill's happy place. Don't be a... Better not be a BDSM dungeon. I can feel the happiness already. Cool! The Ord floor hatch! Oh, I can't wait to go down there. Someone has a good taste in whim uh, uh, posters. Yeah, a lot more. I could possibly use the blades of this mower. Could come in handy, scaring off the critters at night. Yeah, the critters, you know, the crit the fucking critters. No, I didn't. I'm guessing that looks like when I click it. I can combine things, yeah, but hmm. I don't think I have any uh, power box. Screwdriver. Aha! Look at all those wires I'm not going to touch. Jumper cables! But why would f Bill fuse these to the power box? What? Jumper cables? But why would Bill fuse these to the power box? Hmm. Let's kill ourselves by poking it with fucking uh, uh, mower blades. It looks like. It doesn't look like mower blades, it looks like an iron pipe, but 
Whatever. The note. Please do not touch the power box to the right. I've modified the cables to charge my truck's battery. Hmm. Mm, I'm going to do... I'm going to do the fucking floor hatch, obviously, last. Mm, what's this? An oil can. I could use some on the bed in my room. It squeaks too much. Hmm. I don't trust this washing machine. If it's down a long fucking hallway, that's also dark. I don't trust it. So let's save. And then cut a touch. It's probably gonna kill me. No! There's something spooky about it for some fucking reason. I don't know why, but okay. So the oil can is apparently going to be for the bed. I'm sure I'll use it for something else. Wait, what? I uh, need something to pry it open like a crowbar. I have a marble blade. The hole's too tight to insert the blade. Lucky there is no one around to hear me say that. Wait, what was he doing? The hole's too tight to insert the blade. Oh, oh, the blade. Oh, yes. Too tight. Okay. Um, Bill's happy place. It's a weird workshop, sure. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can do here. More blades? The fuck would I need a more blade for, though? I, I guess I just don't have any use of it right now, so all I can do is go back to my room. Use the oil on the bed. What do you mean I won't won't do anything? You just said it's squeaky. You said it was for the bed. You fucking lied to me. Okay, um... Okay, now I have a... Oiled up mower blade. This seems safe, don't it? Oiled mower blade. So you're saying you'd want to use the blade to fight off critters, so then you oil it. Which makes it so you wouldn't be able to grip it properly without it sliding off your hand and losing grip of it, so the whole purpose of it being for critters is now long gone, because now it's oiled up, and it's only for the purpose now of fitting it into the tight, uh, the tight hole, of course. Now put it in the tight hole forcibly, do it. There we go. Like a glove. Hello! I guess that's Paris Eve. She has to be, you know, showering and bathing, of course. Don't tell me he's recording. Aw, oh, man. Bill, come on. You're recording and only give this room to females. I can take it. We're saving it here. Coach, event. I can't do anything with it. Holy shit! Is that the other guest that's staying here? I better take the tape. This old Bill is gonna get it. Wait. Is that... I need to warn her fast. Um. Uh, scream on the other end of the wall. Videotape. Uh. Hey, let's fucking run, I guess. Let's, like, try to... Ah, shit. Don't delay me! I should report you to the police. Tisk tisk. Now, why would you do a thing like that for? You enjoyed the show as much as I did. I have more than one peephole around here, son. I don't have time for this. She is in great danger. I need to warn her. Not my concern, son. What only bothers me is what's in your hand. Give it to me. Ah, uh, No! I'm calling the cops. Good luck without the dial-out number. Fuck you. I, I just... Fuck you. I, I, I gotta run. Not walk slowly. She's gonna be dead by the time I get there. The so one thing I would have done is... Um, yell into the ventilation shaft. If you scream in the ventilation shaft, I'm sure it would drift over to another person's guest room. Be like, hey, there's something trying to kill you! Open your fucking eyes! No. Oh. There's no time to find a key. I need to get in there right now. I'm gonna break the lock with the mower blade. I don't need this anymore. Here goes nothing. Oh. I guess it's... I guess it's barge in and see my tits day. I'm sorry to intrude, but... Look, this is gonna sound stupid, but a monster almost ate you. <laughs> you know, there are better pickup lines than that. Also, how exactly did you know that? 
Well, there's a peephole in your shower. Great, so tits and all then. And I was worried you wouldn't get to see everything. I was looking for the uh, call-out number for my room's phone. I tried looking for the manager, but instead found his secret recording room. Yeah, and what proof do you have? Here's a videotape from the room with you on it. I'll take that, thanks. <laughs> hey, listen, don't worry about it. If I knew you were out to be eaten by a monster, I'd bust your door down, too. Didn't think you'd believe me. Well, I've heard more convincing stories from guys to get in my pants. Uh, that's a skirt you're wearing. And that's a guilty face you're wearing. What's your name, anyhow? It's Mark! I'm Paris, but everyone calls me Bria. Developer, I, I, I see what you did in there. I can tell you're a fucking fan of Parasite Eve. Well, maybe Parasite Eve 1 and 2, or maybe just the second one. A, it's Aya, Brea, and... Well, and Eve, of course. Because I know I like the cheese. I don't know. Oh, come on. You can't say it's not a fucking Parasite Eve reference. And if it's not, I'm surprised. It's just a nickname I had in high school. Look, I'm sorry to intrude. I'll leave. You got a car? Yeah. Great, you can give me a lift to the next city tomorrow. And you can let me stay in your room, seeing how you busted the lock on mine. Okay. Would you mind? She's got that like, smirky face. Oh, sorry, I'll just wait outside. Okay. Uh, so I gave her the tape. At least you survived, but then why was the monster there and just didn't, and wasn't able to kill her? There had been plenty of enough time to kill her, unless I was just simply fast enough. Which gives the question of, is deaths in the game time-based? Other than me saying yes or no and then people dying if I tell them the story. But wait a second. I told her about the monsters! Ah, she's gonna die now. Fuck me. She's probably gonna die, and so it's, yeah, fuck. Bill, I still have your key, I'm coming back in. Also, I'm gonna save. Might as fucking well. I should, you know, take... Oh, when I can't get back in there, since apparently it's closed up and I need mower blades, and I don't have any more mower blades, so... Is there nothing I can do in here now? Hmm. Well, Bill's a pervert, and there's nothing else we can do in this room, I guess. I, I guess. I gotta figure out if there's a use for everything, though. Seriously. I have coal. What can I use the coal for? I'm predicting she's gonna die since I told her about monsters. And every time I tell someone about a monster, they die. Hmm. Let me put the coal in this fucking grill. No. Um, what's going on here? Is you in here, Bill? I need the password to his computer. Nope. Still locked. I'm curious, though, that... Also, if I need a key to unlock Bill's happy place, and I have to use the key every time I open the door, then how is it Bill was able to get into the room when I have his fucking key? Doesn't make sense! Because every time you click a room, like Bill's happy place, I would need to use the key on it. Thus sort of saying that the key, the door locks itself when you close it. So how the fuck would Bill get in, huh? Eh? Hmm? Eh? They shouldn't have. Doesn't make sense. I better see how she's doing. I here. I hope Bria will be safe in here. How'd she get the glass door to open? It's oh. Okay, this isn't going to work in my favor. I don't think this. Is, oh, oh, this is horrible. She just busted it open, and it'll be left ajar, meaning something can get in from the outside. And it'll be left open. And they said it's dangerous. You bitch, you're not, you're not, he says, please do not open. The lock has been broken for some time, enforcing will dislodge the door. Thank you, Th thank you, just thank you. Also, I'm, I'm gonna just end it here. It'll be a little short of episode because I hate doing the long episodes, so I'm just gonna end it here. And hope you've been enjoying my playthrough as you have, and look forward to the next one. Until the next time, actually, sorry, sorry. Leave a like! I can't forget to tell you, leave a like, comment, please share the video, and hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber. Until the next time. <sighs> Still says 2 out of 48, but I'm opening more. Well then, I, I don't think I want to go in this way, but let's check it out. Alright, it's a creeper. It wasn't a death animation, it was just a... Boo! Look at me, I'm creeper!